Hey guys, it's the last day of the month, and you know what that means. We're gonna talk about what I read this month. So this month it was anything to do with mangas or comics because of Hot Topics anime theme that they do every year. And so that's pretty much what I read. And here is the whole stack. And now I'm gonna tell you exactly what I read. If you can hear a noise, Bandit is messing with a shoe box that I need to throw away. So if you hear him messing around with that or playing with a plastic bag, just ignore him. He's being annoying because I'm home now. Would you like to say hi? You can say hi at the end of the video, okay. Okay, so we're gonna get into what I read and the first uh, these are in no particular order because I don't really remember the order that I read them in, but I read L Change the World, which I'll be reviewing this eventually. I just haven't gotten around to doing it yet. Throw that back there. Then I read Death Note Black Edition Volume 1, which has Volumes 1 and 2 of Death Note the Manga in it. Then I read... Death Note, another note, the Los Angeles BB murder cases. I will also be reviewing this one eventually. Hopefully I'll be recording those videos tomorrow and you'll be seeing them in a couple days. <clears throat> then I have a stack of comics. First, I, I will also be putting the exact like volume they are because I don't really know what volume these are. I picked them up like at Walmart you can get like three of them for five dollars like in a like a three pack and you don't really know what we're getting what you're getting like you can see the first comic but you can't see the rest of them so you don't exactly know so I don't know where any of these fit into any of the story arcs whatsoever so I'll be adding the volumes at the end so yeah for y'all who are really into comics <clears throat> the first one I have is Doctor Strange uh, Blood in the Ether. I didn't look at this again. I don't know what volume this is or anything, so. Then I have The Mighty Thor. I think this is the first one, number one. Uh, Thunder in Her Veins, which I would be so interested in continuing this or reading like any of the like Lady Thor comics because I freaking loved this and then I have all di all new all different Avengers number four I know this is number four because it actually says what it is which I liked it I liked it pretty good I like Sam as Captain America and then these last three are DC comics I'm not really into DC I I, I pick and choose what I choose to read or watch regarding DC. And one of my favorite characters, as you can probably tell by my channel name, is Harley Quinn. I read Harley Quinn and Deadshot, uh, Tug of War. Yes, I love Harley Quinn, she's my girl. And then I read The New 52 Futures and New Suicide Squad. I didn't care for this one at all like I hated it I finished it and I was like what the fuck did I just read so I'm not a big fan of that one but and then I have Harley Quinn Injustice all bad things must end and I liked this pretty pretty well and then of course my most disappointing read of this month and that is The Ghost of Ohio by Andy Beerside so, yes, in total, I think I read like 10 things. I don't know, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Yes, I read 10 things this month. And I will, let me just tell you, if you like comics and you don't know what issues or volumes or whatever they are, it is a bitch to find them on Goodreads. I had to literally like Google, find the cover art, then follow that to the Goodreads page so I could actually add these 
to my TBR so I could get credit for them because I read them, so I should get to count them towards my reading goal. So, yep, that is my wrap up for May and we're gonna get into my June TBR next. <laughs>